all welcome back and uh, this is Navin from UI Brains. Uh, in this video we are going to discuss about why to learn JavaScript. Okay, so this is a very very important question and why actually we have to learn JavaScript and what are the advantages uh, of JavaScript is. Uh, you know when actually the JavaScript language has started in the year around 1995. So JavaScript as I mean JavaScript has came to the market to fulfill the requirements on the client side to provide something dynamic nature on the client side or the browser uh, we got javascript but uh, is that only client side application can be developed with javascript no uh, when when you take about the 1995 story then uh, we have a javascript for client side but if you take about this year is 2020 so 2020 if you can talk about so javascript not just for client side we have uh, you know javascript has gone to the uh, the many layers and many different different platforms um, uh, it has implemented using javascript so let's understand what are the advantages uh, if you learn the core javascript in this uh, web series the very first one is you can develop so if you learn a javascript programming fundamentals and all this uh, you can do a first client side web development you can do client side web development so client side web development means for the browsers or websites or any client side apps uh, we need javascript so we have to know the javascript for the all the client side web development because uh, javascript itself is made to do the client side web development only fine and the question here is sir only only javascript we use for client side or any other libraries or frameworks you know what if you know the basic javascript language syntaxes and uh, the programming concepts then you are eligible to learn the next libraries and frameworks which are also used uh, for client side based on javascript it means if you are familiar with javascript there are some other libraries which also using javascript and frameworks also for client side is jquery okay and we also have like uh, uh, angular but angular is using typescript but internally uh, what angular does is it will converge because typescript cannot execute on browser directly so it will converge or compile back to the plain javascript so uh, again the some of the concepts are very common uh, between javascript and typescript because typescript is a superset of uh, javascript uh, don't worry about this concept now but angular is internally using uh, javascript concepts are very helpful next <clears throat> there is a library called react so react js uh, javascript and vue.js okay and so on there are many other libraries and frameworks so if you know the core javascript language uh, uh, concepts and programs then you are eligible to learn jquery angular react and vue and etc so these are all belongs to the client side web developments okay and uh, do you think javascript is only for client side web development no so javascript is also used for server side web development also so the second thing is we can also use javascript for server side web development javascript can also be used for server side web development so server side how can we use javascript is uh, there is uh, a platform called node.js and also Express.js. So Node.js is actually a platform which is used it for a server side web development. But internally we have we are going to write a same JavaScript programming languages and same syntactical rules of JavaScript. It's complete JavaScript. And then Express.js. So Express.js is actually a library of JavaScript. Same like jQuery is a library of JavaScript. Same like that. Uh, Express.js is a library of Node.js. Okay, so which makes uh, your web development easy and faster. So this call is Express. Express is faster web development. So JavaScript can also use for server side. And also third one, we can also do mobile apps using JavaScript. Okay, you know nowadays if you take any mobile app, there uh, every app uh, which is having a dynamic interaction with the server side. So which is also using JavaScript. Even mobile apps are also using JavaScript. And also this one more thing is using JavaScript, we can even develop the desktop applications, desktop apps. Actually, for example, if you want to load desktop apps, there is a platform that is called Electron. 
so electron is a platform which is given by the github okay so what is this platform is uh, generally we know website website means which runs on your browser okay so which doesn't require any installation so that's a website and what is mobile app an app which can install in your mobile is called mobile app so a mobile app also using javascript and the same way desktop app what is desktop app is an application which you can install in your system or in your laptop or desktop or tablet uh, that's called a desktop application so what is this desktop application is which you can install in your system uh, so generally using html css and javascript we are going to develop web application right but what is the uh, the what is the, what is the goal behind this electron uh, platform is using html css and javascript we can also develop the desktop application so installable software we can develop using html css and javascript using this electron so for desktop applications also we are using javascript and then we can also develop some browser uh, plugins or extensions so browser plugins or extensions so if you can see any browser plugins like ad blockers and uh, color pickers and even uh, the react uh, developer tools okay so these are all actually the browser plugin so any browser plugin you take so which is involved with a javascript so javascript also used for browser side i mean browsers plugins or extensions and last but not the least we can also develop um iot apps using javascript so i'm not telling only uh, javascript is used for iot apps but javascript is also one of the choice to develop the iot apps iot i think you know it's uh, internet of things it means uh, any real world things like uh, the camera or uh, like any any other like um, uh, TVs, fridge, uh, cards, uh, these are all connected through the concept of internet and they can share information between each other. That's called internet of things, uh, not laptop or tablet things so everything will be having an ip address like uh, your camera will have ip address your car will have ip address your uh, fridge uh, washing machine will have ip address and they're all communicating with an app called iot so their javascript also involved and one last thing i want to tell you is machine learning machine learning so so nowadays you know the trending concept is machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence and data science you know what javascript also involved in the concept called machine learning okay so there is uh, you can google search about tensor tensor flow js so there is a tensor flow i think there's no space yeah so tensor flow js so this is one javascript library which is made to understand the principles of machine learning it means javascript is also involved in machine learning because javascript has started in the year 1995 but uh, as per the uh, topic if you discuss in the year 2020 javascript has gone to the, almost every layer of application development because we can do um, client side development we can do uh, server side development we can do the mobile apps desktop apps iot and even for machine learning okay so why i have made this video is this is just a conclusion that javascript is not just only made for a client side applications because javascript is one of the biggest programming languages as usual like as same as your java okay so with this we can even do the speech recognition and webcam and all the geolocation so everything even barcode scanner you can uh, read the because there are some native libraries available using javascript so javascript has gone to the every layer of application development okay so don't think uh, javascript is only for client side we can use javascript for all these things so it means if you invest some time on javascript in learning uh, so this will be very beneficial for you to understand and for your uh, future also okay so thank you so much for watching and we'll meet in the next video for the development environment setup for javascript so thank you